Greetings everybody, this is the latest Lime. If you haven't heard of one of the bug fixes they've done to Minecraft 1.9 in the latest snapshots, broke some of the glitches we used to use for item elevators. Now I've heard some people complaining about this, I would say don't complain, they are good bug fixes, so let's just get on with it and make something that works. Now a couple of days ago I presented this version, it does work in the latest snapshot, we're in 15W39C, uh, but it uses this clock circuit and uh, these pistons that cause water updates and all kinds of funky lag stuff. So I've improved on it, I've made this version, it is a completely clockless version and it has no water updates to it even when running. So that's it, if you can see up here, this chest is now empty, and if I put I think I have a bunch of stuff in here, but let's remove that and just put in maybe 64 redstone and turn it on for now. You can see what goes on. The items come up here, hit this pane of glass, fall down through a trip wire, and then activate the system. So you can see them flying up here, and we're out of redstone, so let's switch that off. And this last one comes flying down here, you can see that the whole system stops again and there's nothing moving. And we should have 64 redstone in the chest, so that works. The way I've tested this is by just putting, filling this thing up with various random old things. Um, and then sending it up, so let's just do that while we explain how this is going on. And So, the items come here, hit this, fall through a tripwire, and that activates this little memory circuit, which is items waiting. We also have a systems ready memory circuit. So we have two bits of information here. When both of them are true, so we both have the system ready and items waiting, then we generate a pulse on this monostable pulse extender thing. And that causes both uh, this piston to push. So we push all the items waiting into the next water stream in here. Oh, well, that was a nice glitch. But we also, with a delay, cause these pistons to push up and reset the entire system. So we have a kind of waiting area for items here, and we detect when there is anything there, and when there is, we cause a pulse on this thing. You can also see that the water stream stops there before the piston blocks, so there are no water updates going on. And then, of course, we have this column of water. It serves the same purpose as this little thing I had up there, which is to break the speed of the items because they come flying up with a massive speed in the latest updates. And then they fall down here, go out into this water stream, which could be anything. It doesn't have to go into these hoppers like it does now. And I've just put up some hoppers here to test it out. And the funky configuration with the half slabs is because of a new bug, I believe, that I found, is, which was when I had the hoppers up here, the items would sometimes fall into this little area in the center of the hopper, and they would actually fall down into that, which meant that because they were no longer in the block above the hopper, they wouldn't get picked up. Of course, this is a lot more redstone to build than that, but it also causes a lot less lag. Now, this redstone here could probably be compacted a lot. I had to work around a few issues while I was already building this, so it kind of extended out in ways I didn't like. But if you build this from the start and you know what you're doing, you can probably compact this up a whole bunch. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with this device. If you have a lag-sensitive world, or if you're running a whole bunch of item alloys or something, you might want to use this thing instead of something running clocks. Anyway, that's all I had to show you today. If you want to take a closer look at this, I will be including a world download for both of these in this world with the video description or on screen right now. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this little showcase, and if you did, please help me out and leave a like on the video. My name is Slice Lime. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.